All right, guys, let's try this one more time. So, I apologize, but I'm gonna, uh, for those of you that were listening on Facebook and did you actually get my audio, let's start uh, doing a little quick recap. One, this is my personal opinion. My personal beliefs does not necessarily represent Game Warriors Gaming for a cause. And by no means am I any type of professional. I am just a man who has struggled and wanted to give my personal advice and what worked for me. So that being said, to the to the person that came to me and said that they have quit coming to Game Warriors events because of our Christian background, I apologize that we have offended you, but we will we are Christians and that is what has led us to this point. And it was what created Game Warriors Gaming for a Cause. We are not there to preach. We are not there to try to convert you or anything like that. We are there to raise money and awareness for those different charities and to help people. Our actions speak for us. Our actions are what shows our beliefs and everything. Yes, we pray before we start, but that's not that's before the game warriors, before the tournament and everything else. If you're one if you're one someone that wants to join us for prayer, you're welcome to show up. Usually do it about 10 to 15 minutes before the event but you are not required to do so we do not discriminate for any reason that being said let's get on to what today's topic is all about and that is the fact that this is national suicide prevention week so Depression and suicide is something that has plagued me for the majority of my life. My first suicide attempt was at the age of eight or nine, real close to that transition. So, that being said, here I am, and my life's not perfect. It, I struggle with it to this day. Um, but I want to let you know that there are people here that will help you. If you don't have friends or family that understand, or you are there for a friend that is going through this and you do not understand, there is resources. There are crisis hotlines. There's way to get more information there is help available and i know that that is drummed into our heads and stated over and over and over again but it's true um so before i get started in talking about my personal experience with it i just want everyone to know that there is help and i'm going to say that a hundred times not because i'm trying to be repetitive but or that i might have lost for words but because i have to remind myself on a daily and hourly basis that i am not alone and just like i am not alone you are not alone so with that being said At the age of nine, um, I attempted to hang myself. And I, I, cause, and I, 
I'm not stating all of this so that way I, you can say, look at me or anything of that nature, because I do not like people looking at me. I do not like people feeling sorry for me. That agitates me to no extent. To, to, I, that makes the problem worse. I have found my way of coping with it and dealing with it and moving on. I have family, I have friends that actually care for me. It took me a while to reach that point, but I'm, I'm here now. So at the age of nine, like I said, I found the sturdiest piece of rope, which happened to be a jump rope and I did test it and if you knew me when I was nine a gallon of milk probably weighed more than I did um, I tied it as high uh, to the highest thing I could get my hands on kicked the chair out from underneath me and hung there you know luckily for me the uh with me jerking around and everything else the rope actually broke or came untied and i hit the floor now that wouldn't that that's the first time that I attempted it wasn't the first time I thought about it I thought about it for weeks and months before doing so nobody knew so often you hear people saying where are the warning signs and so on and so forth yes there are warning signs at times but not always that is not always the case um and Uh, those feelings they come they go even when they're quote unquote gone they're there in the back of your head I'm it took me a long time I went through the motions of being normal I went through the notions of everybody else through my childhood I would attempt it a couple other times and because of the fact of me being abused and mentally emotionally physically and sexually I was exhausted I was in pain and I had, I felt like I had no one to turn to. I had people around me. I had family. I had friends. But I felt like no one would understand. I felt like people would be ashamed, like they would ridicule me, criticize me, and so I kept it to myself. And throughout the years, I would think about it. I would contemplate it. And I could sit there and talk to you all night about the different ways that I thought about it and I attempted it. But that first attempt and my last attempt are the only two that I'm talking about. And in any detail and on a personal note I'm, I may or may not give insight as to why I did those things but the reason doesn't matter so many people get caught up on the reason why they did this why did they do this 
why, 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 why doesn't matter. The fact is that they did it. And to each person, they had their reasoning. That was their own thought of that was the only way out. It is not our place to judge those people. It is our place to be there to help them. So again, if you know someone or you are someone that is going through this, seek help. Because I guarantee you there's at least one person that to them, you are the difference. So be that difference. If you looked at the title of the of this video and or this audio log, it is be the difference. I we can go through the years and like I said, I had different reasons. Like I said, I was abused mentally, emotionally, physically, sexually abused. There were so many things that so many people still do not know to this day, except for my ex-wife and my wife. Other people know bits and pieces. Yes, I come across as cold and calloused at times and goofy and all these other words. But that's my my mechanism of coping with this. I cannot express enough of find someone to help you. Find your outlet. There is a better way. Again, you were put here for a purpose. And we can fast forward a couple years from my ninth when I was nine years old and attempted to hang myself. I finally I opened up to someone. Thought I had someone that I could confide in. I was wrong. They used that to further abuse me, to manipulate me, and sexually assault me. There was more. So instead of lightening my load, they added to my load. And I bring this up simply because be mindful of who you, who you talk to. I know that sometimes you just want anyone, everyone, someone to listen. But if they do not have your best interest in mind, if they are the type of people that are going to bring you further down, get away find someone else that being said we're going to look at i had a friend of mine a family member actually that when i got real bad depressed at one point his response was go ahead do it and it wasn't for a couple years later that once he hit a depressive state and he felt the same things that I had felt that he called me and he apologized to me because he did not realize how much of a grip that depression can have on you. It's not as simple as snapping out of it. It is a struggle. You have to fight, but it is a fight worth fighting. Be that difference, be that fighter for someone. And if you are that someone that's going through something, fight, claw, and so you can't possibly fight and claw anymore. I don't know who or why this video was so important and laid it so heavily on me 
Maybe it's just for me to step out and to express how damaged I really am and how my friends and my family and game warriors has been my outlet to be the difference, my driving force to make a difference. I honestly believe that there is and always are, there's a purpose for you. Whether you are the person that's going through this or you're knowing someone that's going through this, there is a purpose. And I know that sounds cliche, but as someone who has suffered through depression and suicidal tendencies and thoughts for 30 years, 30 plus years, There is help. It is worth fighting. So, that uh, got a couple of stats again from the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention. I, I've looked through some of their stuff, great resources. Suicide is the 10th leading cause of death. Nearly half of Americans think they have had a mental health condition in their lifetime. But the one that rings true, most suicide attempt survivors go on to lead happy, healthy lives. happy, healthy lives. For the most part, you can say that I am in a better state of mind. But it's because I have to remind myself on a daily basis. So we're going to fast forward from my ninth year to just a couple years ago within the past decade 10 years ago not to uh pretty much at the beginning of the september about uh, 10 11 years ago got a young son two wonderful daughters wonderful wife um had a decent paying job at the time. <clears throat> Stressful, but you know, no more than any other. Um, there were some situations in my life dealing with my father and my siblings and everything. And my mother. And the whole family dynamic was explosive. And on one hand, everything was good as far as my home life, but my external family and stuff like that was crumbling. I felt that stress of who should my, where should my loyalties lie, and a lot of other things that I'm not going to discuss. Sitting here in in my bed watching TV, I'd had pain pills and sleeping pills from some procedures that I had done, and I opened them up, poured them out on the bed, counted them, thirty plus pills. Put them back in their perspective bottles. Sat there contemplating. And then slowly, as I was contemplating, the whole, all the positive things that I had going for me, my wife, my kids, my job, 
were fading. All the negative that I had going on, all everything else just crept back up and started yelling. So, to me, the only way to make things better was if I was not a part of it. That I, my choices had caused so much turmoil between my siblings and me, my mother and me, my father and everything else that the wonderful stuff that was my wife and my kids were drowned out. And what I seen in that moment was the fact that, hey, if I stick around, the same thing is going to happen to my wife and my kids. And they would be better off without me. So if you've never experienced one of those things, you, you can't grasp the concept of that feeling of despair. So I poured out both bottles of pain pills and, and the sleeping pill and took all of them. It was close to 40 pills. Laid down, looked at my wife and who, if you know, is a heavy sleeper and basically a nuclear bomb could probably go off and she would not notice it. I gently touched her and I told her I loved her and I was sorry and she woke why she woke up and asked me what was wrong and we talked about it and she forced me to get dressed and get in the car and everything now when I woke up in the hospital because that's pretty much all I remember at that moment I had a moment of clarity I was I was fine. I was snapped out of it. And I knew at that moment that they needed me. They That my life mattered. That there were people that depended on me. And that I could have a happy, healthy life. Now, it didn't stop there. I had to fight for it. And I would love to say that I've never had a suicidal thought again. But I can't. This past year, I was diagnosed with emphysema and had found out some very bad news via, uh, for my family. And a lot of other stress for work and everything else. And it crept up again. And I went through it. And I talked with my wife about it. I talked to some friends about it. I even came close to calling a couple of these hotlines. The main thing is that I know that I have a purpose. Game Warriors Gaming for a Cause. To some people, it seems silly. It seems ridiculous that grown people get together, play video games. We have purpose. 
through Game Warriors, I've got so many wonderful people that I've talked to, so many emails, text messages, instant messages thanking me for speaking out, for giving a voice to some that didn't have a voice, to helping those that that need it. And for being there and being the difference and striving to make a difference. My personal life, my personal tragedies, my personal victories are my driving force to be the difference. Every event that Game Warriors does, every time I get on here and I talk about an event, every business meeting, every time that I open my mouth about Game Warriors it is because I want to make a difference. I am passionate about video games. I am passionate about helping others. Now, for some of you that have known me for the better part of three decades, me being a helpful person, some of y'all are caught off guard. Some of y'all are not surprised at all. Y'all see a side of me that Others did not, including myself. To me, those that encouraged me over the years, teachers, friends, I didn't have a whole lot of them. I had acquaintances, few friends, but those friends, those teachers, They were my difference. I work retail. I sell video games. Before that, I was a gas station attendant. Those are labels. Teacher. Your position may... Your job may position you to be someone's difference, and then again, it may not. But in your friends, your family, your coworkers, whatever your little bubble in society is, you can be the difference. I have friends in, uh, at work that probably have no clue of how much they have helped me just by being themselves. I'm surrounded with people on my board of directors for Game Warriors that have done more for me than they even realize. A grand gesture is not needed to be the difference. Being there for someone is all it takes. I'm sure that it's when I went left, right, up, down, all around. But the thing is, if you take away anything from this, 
take away these three things. You are here for a purpose. You may not ever know what that purpose is, but you are here for a purpose. Number two, you are not alone. And number three, a grand gesture is not what it takes to be there for someone. Just be that ear. Guys, this has been a very trying experience. Um, and of course, you know, starting out with the fact that the first 10, 15 minutes of, didn't have audio on some of it. Um, so we had to restart. Um, guys, I thank each and every one of you that have supported Game Warriors in any form or fashion. It is truly a passion for me. It blends things that are close to me into one. It is, it is my way of being a difference, of making a difference. And I share that with y'all each time we have an event. I encourage y'all to come out, have a good time, play some video games, and do some good all at the same time. Now, if any of you out there are in that spot where you're having problems, reach out to a friend, to a family, to one of these wonderful counselors. There's someone out there that you are an inspiration to. You may never see it. You may never know it. I never, in my close to 40 years, would have ever guessed that my difference would be a positive difference. That my influence would be a positive influence. For the majority of my life, it was nothing but thoughts of revenge and suicide. Everything else was just a means to an end. And here I am. Guys, if you're if you're having doubts or your thoughts that someone that you know that you love that you care about is going through something of this nature be there for them ultimately you can't help someone that doesn't want the help it's sad to say i wish there was a way to fix fix it because I've seen people that have struggled and I couldn't fix it because their hurts were different than mine. 
but be there for them. This past year, a friend of mine that he was a he was acquaintance for the majority of school, but there were several times that I talked to him and everything else that you know and he hit his spot and he felt he was alone and he wasn't um, the same as I was. He wasn't as fortunate as I was. He he took his own life. And recently we've seen in the news where several other people, celebrities, have taken their lives and we've seen it and as a as a whole society has become callous to it but be that difference it's It's hard to explain if you've never done that. And I I recently had this conversation with a friend of mine in my store. And he didn't understand he and he wasn't one as callous as some of the other people that I'd seen. But we have to remember that um, the simple um, act of being there for someone speaks volumes. Our actions speak louder volumes than our words. With that being said, um, you can be that difference. That my friend didn't have. You can be that difference that nine year old me didn't have. And if you are in the spot where the nine-year-old me was, fight. Guys, I appreciate your time and listening to this and your continued support of Game Warriors. I look forward to much happier broadcast in the future and thank you god bless have a great night